Hi Pisces, welcome to your tarot reading for the week of October 9th through the 16th. It's Rena here. And um, yeah, so I'm kind of mixing things up a little bit. Don't do these types of weekly readings. Wanted to see how it goes. Um, what else do I want to say? Oh yeah, I'm using the Rider Waite deck with Pamela Coleman illustrations. This is the deck that I started with. Uh, if you have been watching my readings for a while, you may notice that I use the Morgan Greer deck. I'll show you um, the back of one of these, and this is the front. I like the um, lack of borders, and also the the brilliant color. Um, I just got a new deck that I'm going to be using for my love readings that are coming up this week, so for November, so stay tuned for that. But um, it's been great to reconnect with this um, right away deck because the illustrations are like awesome. And you know, when I was first starting, it was really important to get cards that, that were evocative, that really spoke to the meaning of the cards. When you, when you see the different decks, some of them are much more um, apart from the traditional definition, well, what, what would you say, definitions of the cards or um, interpretations? So it can be difficult if you don't know the cards very well to actually um, connect with uh, their meaning. So that's why the Rider Waite deck is always a sh safe bet, you know, to start out with at least. So I'm doing three pairs, past, present, future, and this is another fun little exercise to see the, the connections between cards, if there are any. can make kind of a game out of it. <laughs> oh, a reverse card. Don't get much of those anymore. Okay. Interesting, and, and these are, oh no, that's a five. I thought they were both threes. Okay, so let's look at the past position for you, Pisces. Well, <laughs> Pi you, you know, it's interesting, um, Pisces, you are, I was going to say you are the hermit, but uh, actually the hermit is connected with your opposite sign of Virgo. So whenever I'm dealing with Virgos, sometimes I'm thinking of Pisces and vice versa. I think there's like, there's always going to be certain similarities between the two complementary signs. And um, so you may be walking away from somebody who is a Virgo, or you may have, this is the past, past position. And if so, it would have been because the emotional connection was not there. Um, in any kind of career setting, this could simply mean that you were not feeling that you were doing work that was inspired, okay? And it wasn't speaking to your heart. Um, it's funny, you know, I, I can't seem to get away from love readings, even when I try to keep it general. We look at these two cards for the present tense. Okay, Page of Cups, you see the fish <laughs> jumping out and the Three of Swords. Well, the Three of Swords, that's pretty uh, self-evident, right? Self-explanatory. The kind of heartbreak that happens in love in general, but perhaps with you, what's, what's been happening with you. Um, how does that connect with the Page of Cups? Well, it's possible uh, I think that this is you, and this, the page is, is the card of the child. But with adults, it can be the gullibility factor of not really being discerning um, when you're in a relationship and believing people's excuses, their stories, their promises and then feeling betrayed or let down, rejected. 
some, by the way, the, whenever you get the number three, there could be three parties involved. So it could point to uh, some kind of a lover's triangle. Um, but this card too, I just wanted to give you this other interpretation. Well, no, I mean, this is, this is going along with that. I do think that some of you, uh, it, there's a possibility that some of you have gone to an, another person that misrepresented themselves. So maybe you left a former partner uh, for somebody who turned out to be not what they claimed to be. And you may have even left a partner who was a very a solid individual, but you got caught up in that excitement of this new person. Uh, sometimes, I'll be honest with you, Pisces, I, I say sometimes that Pisces people can be fickle in love, and it's not because of a lack of caring, it's because you're a mutable water sign and that ability to be flexible with your emotions is present. It just is. And depending on other factors, like for instance, let's say you're bored in your life and you're looking for some kind of excitement, you may try to obtain it through a relationship, through an affair, through a some kind of um, a heightened experience. Because a lot of times, especially if it is like an affair, there, there's like this feeling of of the thrill of maybe sneaking around or the passion of having limited time together. And yet this is kind of an artificial experience because it is all based upon the temporary nature of the, of the situation. So for instance, if you are in, a, in an affair that you know that you're a part of and then that person leaves their spouse, maybe you leave your spouse, and then all of a sudden, it's the typical relationship again. And it may feel like a letdown because, because it's no longer the forbidden fruit. It's no longer something that you have to sneak around. You just, you know. And, um, and that can uh, lead to confusion because, because um, until you really pinpoint exactly what it is you're looking for, you may be constantly searching for the next euphoric experience. And, and um, and this is the, the wisdom of the hermit is understanding that it's within you, that it's not through outer experiences that we, that we have this serenity, this tranquility in our lives. So let's look at the outcome. We have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a card of, this could be you taking refuge in your friendships and maybe they are helping you to get over a situation. Um, this is actually a uh, card. It's funny that I'm getting this in the reversed position because I would look at this without having, you know, gotten this card in, in forever. Um, as a, an overturning of a very negative mindset that is a limited mindset. So I would say this is a good, a good place for the Five of Pentacles to be in the reversed position. Sometimes the reversed position is superior to the um, upright. And this is one of the reasons why I do read reversed cards. It's kind of silly when people act like it should only be one direction because if you look at the opposite meaning in the reverse position, then it can mean something that has changed, like you flip the script on this. So this would be like letting go of negative thinking or actually limited thinking, poverty consciousness, lack consciousness. And, um, and lack consciousness is not just monetarily uh, speaking. It can be with um, love, for sure. People who just go with the first person who shows interest in them because they fear that nobody else will come along. That, that seems to be the MO of some people, even though they won't verbalize it that way. And they may be not very interested in that person, but they're just so grateful that somebody's giving them the time of day. 
and it typically does not work out that well because um, you know you do have to have some kind of passion for for a person or otherwise you end up walking away so anyway um, again you know with the with the timeline it's a little bit silly this, this seems like a lot of things happening for a seven day period but at least I hopefully have touched on some of your uh, themes going on at the moment but um, uh, remember too that this is for every Pisces on the planet so that's also a little bit of a stretch but you know this is just a demonstration of the type of readings I do and if you'd like a private reading most of you know like my love readings for instance I use your natal chart for a lot of the reading because I feel like that is much more concise than the tarot. The tarot is great to me as a second opinion to kind of give that spiritual um, archetypal you know version of what's going on um, but it is very open to interpretation. I'm, I initially was just going doing um, astrology readings on YouTube and the reason I started doing tarot readings is very simple they're very popular so for some reason the tarot really connects with a wide group of people around the world and it may be the traditions of some people in different countries um, apart from the United States to use these cards uh, the other thing, too, is that I find that it's much more enjoyable to do tarot readings as readings versus astrology because astrology really is dependent upon a number of factors. And this is more open-ended, and so that's what I like about it. So um, if you're interested in a private reading, you can click on the link below this video. It takes you to rainandmoonastrology.com. But otherwise, Pisces, have an awesome week. Bye.